40 people were killed and more than 200 injured at a rally last week in Tripoli. As protesters clashed with the militia, they took control of a number of government buildings. The gunmen gave in to the demands of the Libyan authorities and left Tripoli, but refused to lay down arms. Reportedly natives of the city of Misrata, they were among the first to seek to remove the Gaddafi regime. In general, the security situation in Libya remains unstable, with Libya's deputy intelligence chief Mustafa Noah recently kidnapped outside Tripoli's international airport. Well, Libyan civilians have been demonstrating in Tripoli against the rogue militias who've been causing chaos in the city. We've been getting some of their reactions. It's a message to Libya's government. We want authorities to solve the problems that are making the people suffer. We want everybody who's illegally carrying weapons to disarm. We want an end to the bloodshed. The people are rallying for security in Libya, for the army and police to play the roles they are supposed to. The Libyan government has been unable to control the militias who helped propel it to power when they overthrew and killed Muammar Gaddafi. There could be 1,700 armed groups across the country with no central leadership or unified agenda. Meanwhile, some 400 arms depots are spread through Libya, but only a fraction are actually controlled by the government. These caches contain some advanced weaponry and thousands of anti-aircraft missiles have reportedly gone missing. Well, in the wrong hands, they could easily be used to bring down large aircraft, such as passenger planes. For some analysts, the ongoing Western interference is only fueling the crisis. The government is totally incapable of reining in these militias. Uh, they're not going to disarm. There's been a problem associated with uh, bringing together the various uh, militia groups, uh, but uh, many of them are motivated uh, by sectional interests. Uh, by criminal activity, and we've seen uh, the fruits of this uh, over the last uh, two weeks. Uh, then, of course, there's the international aspect as well. Uh, there are forces that are coming in from outside of Libya also participating in the internal uh, political struggles that are going on in Libya itself. And then, of course, uh, we still have uh, the ongoing role of the United States and these other Western states who are continually interfering in the internal affairs of Libya. Now the United States is talking about training some five to 7,000 uh, Libyans to be a part of this new national army. And this, of course, could cause uh, even more consternation inside the country, because many of these militia groups, even though they were against Gaddafi, they still do not support uh, the U.S. or NATO interfering in the internal affairs of Libya at this stage.